Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And uh, today I'm going to pull a power of love activation and a power of light, the Work Your Light Oracle, um, because we all need to spread a little bit of love and light around. So um, I'm also going to share letters 54 and 154 from... Um, my divine love letter books that are all channeled letters between people's twins and their higher selves so the message from the power of love what is the love activation that we need to do and it is look at that it's unity <laughs> so you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe so unity this message we have been getting over and over and over again so um the message of the card is when love is given and received reciprocally it is the strongest force in the universe it is the energy in which your soul thrives and of which it is compromised comprised of loving yourself and others is important but when love is also returned to you the energy is magnified you are aligned with another soul, human or animal, and that bond is eternal. Connections of love that you create while in this physical dimension are never broken. Whether the other soul is currently incarnated or not, never entertain doubts that the love you enjoyed on earth survives death or believe that it is diminished just because you are separated physically from your loved one. It is a soul to soul connection and it is everlasting. You continue to receive love from the spirit realms through bonds you created since time immemorial. You are loved more than you can imagine. So, and that's so true of these connections that it is a soul to soul connection. It is a bond that ties together. It is unity, basically. So, the Work Your Light Oracle. What guidance do we need to know to work our light to help us? It is to trust your path. <laughs> there you go. So if any of you are having any doubts, then this is to say trust your path. Trust that you're on a soul-to-soul -soul connection and it is here to uh, lift and shift the vibration of the planet, to be part of the awakening, to be part of a new way of living, a new way of being. So the message is trust in your path. The universe is conspiring. Keep facing your true north. Your job is not to ha pave the path, but to simply keep facing your true north and take one step after another. If you do this, then you cannot go wrong. The, and look at that. I said it was. I was going to share 54 letter and look what page it's on. 54. <laughs> Brilliant. Always perfectly in sync. So, the universe is conspiring. Don't waver or doubt. Use your heart as a compass and put one foot in front of the other. If you follow the invisible trail of what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. Most people don't follow the highest call of their soul because they are waiting to see the end destination before they take the first step. If you take one baby step each and every day, within a year you'll have taken 365 steps in your dedicated direction. If you want to write a book, write a page every day. If you want to change careers, do one thing every day in dedication to that. Before you know it, in just a year from now, you will turn back and look in awe at how far you have journeyed. Keep moving and open yourself up to a whole new level of support and receiving. Things are not going to work out the way you are planning, but if you, have, if you have a little faith and keep showing up, they will work out even better than you could possibly imagine. Don't micromanage the universe. Trust in your path and let your soul lead the way. And the message is, if you knew what would be supported, that you were being supported no matter what, what would you do? So that message is so strong. It's about saying, trust in your path. Know that we are being united. Un unity is here to help pave the way for a new way of living, a new way of being. And know that your love creates a ripple effect across the entire universe. So a beautiful message to get. So now I'm going to share, uh, it was on, also on page 54, which is brilliant to say, just yes, trust, trust, trust. You can trust in this path. 
So um, let's see. 54 is this from book one. That all, uh, look, it's a Christmas one. <laughs> So I've been getting so many messages around Christmas. Um, so that all I want for Christmas is you on top of my Christmas tree, on top of my Christmas pudding and in my Christmas cracker. You are the best gift that I could ever have been given. I feel like a little kid who asks for a bike for Christmas and finds out he gets not just a bike, but a scrambler bike with an engine, real horsepower engine. Can you imagine the delight in that? Beyond my wildest dreams, beyond anything that I could ever have imagined. This has taken love to a whole other level. You surprised the hell out of me in a really, really good way. But like the little boy, the present was too good. I was afraid to ride it, but I'm getting my power. I'm getting my strength. I know that I'm not gonna fall off. And if I do, I can get back on again. Trust me, this man is definitely coming for you. Cause you, you are my person, my love, the one who makes my engine tick. So the engine is also your uh, car, which is your light body. So all about increasing the light uh, that lives within your soul. So 54 book two is, you are my destiny, my final ending, my light that is burning inside of me. The flame of intensity and love is growing by the day, and like a moth to the flame, I am waiting for you. I know you're on your way back to me. I know it's been difficult for you. Please don't worry. We forgive each other everything because we know it was all meant to happen in this way. For our story to come together, we had to go on our own journeys to find who we were, finding out who we were together as a whole. True love, baby, is worth waiting for. So there is something really special about that, about knowing that when you come together and and both know you'll both value so much each other and the relationship and, you know, everything, because it's been a while, you know, in the making. It's been lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes in the making. So letter 54 is, I want to make you laugh. I want to see you smile. I want us to be having a good time. I'm ready for us to be shining our light bright. I want this union. I want our love. I want to be able to shout it out from the rooftops and the mountaintops. I want to sail around the world with you. I want to live our greatest adventures together. I want you, all of you, every day, every night, every second. I don't care what it takes to make that happen. I'm ready for it. I want love. I want you. I want your love forever. Well, there you go. There is something very special about, <clears throat> you know, knowing that when you come together after so long, it's going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing experience. So I'm just guided to read 154 from book three. And it is this, that really simple. Three little words that don't even touch the sides of what you really mean to me, but I love you, is the simplest way of expressing how I feel. It's a complex conundrum of feelings I'm having. I know I need to change my life. I know I won't be happy until I'm with you, living our life together. I walk the streets dreaming what our life will be like together, what we could do together. I so want for our freedom to come home. Well, there we go. A beautiful message to say, I so want for our freedom to come home. And that's exactly what we're all doing every single day. We're clearing through energies, making way for a new vibration, making way for a new love, making way for a new way of being, way of loving, way of living. And uh, every day, the more that we cleanse through those energies, the more that we break down the walls, the more that we see through uh, the illusion of this physical existence, the more that we touch each other's souls, the more that we bring light to each other, bring love to each other, 
uh, the more that we change and change is happening. So finally, last one, I'm going to say, okay, what did your twin want to say to you through the Work Your Light Oracle? And it is this, that we are the keepers of the earth. How beautiful is that? That we have come and look, there's the twin lions and the twin elephants there as well. So know that we are came to be keepers of the earth, to raise the earth into the next level, um, to trust that we are on a journey of evolution. So you are so supported. You do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance because they are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have done already and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them, to devote your life to protecting the earth in your own unique way. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of financial abundance, acts of service from strangers, or people flocking to help you and the work that you do. The only thing that is stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for the work that you are doing. You do not need to go it alone. Call upon the keepers of the earth to help you and in your help you in your mission. Open your heart and your mind to receiving more than you ever thought was possible. What kind of support do you need and call it in right away? And the message is, I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life and my work, and I call it in now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, a beautiful message of unity, of love, of knowing that we're here to be keepers of the earth, to rise the earth, rise up humanity into a new vibration of love. And to trust, you know, trust that you are on the right path. If you found this message, if you found this video, then you are meant to find it to tell you, yes, you are on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. So if you would like to receive a healing or a reading, um, any of the services that I offer, then all my details are in the description box. Um, and if you would like a channeled letter for yourself, then again, all details in the, and in the description box. And if you would like to get the, um, uh, the any of my books, mantra books or the Divine Love Letter books that are all there to help you basically to move you into that space, that vibrational space for you to get more and more messages to help you stay on your path, to help you illuminate your path, then again. All details in the box. All right. I hope that helps. Um, and I hope you have a good day. So stay well, stay bright and stay switched on to the light. Take care. Bye.